your boy Dizzy Banco. You rocking with music exclusive TV. Violation. I go get back, I don't fumble. They doubt it, so I charge double. Slow you roll, I got them why I need them. Fuck the other side, we ain't speaking. You can never shit on my achievements. Work weekdays and I thrive off of you can't do it. You know, I'm not one of the people that you, you say something like, yo, somebody told me at one point, I'm not going to have a gold record. I'm not going to have a platinum record. That same year, I maybe wanted to fight that person. It was mm -hmm. another producer. Mm -hmm. And I wanted, in that mindset, I wanted to like really like, I was like, yo, come outside. Like, I want to fight. Like it, yeah. I want to fight because it's like, how you going to sit here and tell me something I can't do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm encouraging you and you telling me I can't even do something or be in your accolade. Because mm -hmm. you got all the, the stuff producers Glitz have, you know, the and Grammys yeah. and stuff. So it's like, all right, cool. That same year, I went, that same year, I did Moose Swings. Mm -hmm. Moose Swings came right out, right after that. Mm -hmm. And you see what it did, the people that was around hit me like, yo, it's crazy how boy said you couldn't step foot into this realm. And you did it. But at a higher, different level where mm -hmm. it's like you're not signed to nothing. You, you, you. And you five-time platinum. So, exactly. So, yeah. it's like, damn. It's like, you know how they be like the God, devil, there's like two different, like there's somebody yeah, talking. Yeah, on your shoulder, yeah. So, it's like the devil could be on something like, yo, just fuck this nigga up. Then God like, nah, chill. So, I'm going to really fuck him up, but in a positive way. That gives me the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Vibes. So when I be saying, like, yo, a storm is coming and certain things, like, we about to go crazy. Some people may look like, when, what time, what year, what day. I never gave it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. when, it's, when it's happening. It's happening right now. And I'm just watching the surroundings of things where it's like, okay, everything is like this fast now. Preparation met opportunity. So they're looking at me like he's just so prepped to go. Yes. You know, I had a two hour talk with Buster Rhymes and that motivated the shit out of me. Why? Because the way he's talking to me, you would have thought we knew each other for like 20 years or something. Mm. Or some like, just like, yo, bro. Not even about the record, just how the streets is talking. When you go from the streets, you go to the world. Violation is like really springing in different continents right now. Like different places that I ain't even thinking is touching. You know, I'm getting phone calls like even over Ghana, people call me every, they go, don't play with it, it's going crazy out here. And I'm in my living room. Mm -hmm. So I feel like with me in life that I have something that spirals all over the world, I'm going to win forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, I can't, you can't escape greatness. You can't escape the feeling like people told me they latch on to me off of energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you get to know me. It's like off the jump, you may not get that feeling like, oh, yeah, you know, just friendly. This, Yeah, like I believe people have their guard up on anything. Any type of situation, they got their guard up. So you could have been mean from the first time we met. Then after that, you let up because it's like, all right, Dizzy not even. He not going to match He on energy. that time. Yeah, so all right, I'm not going to do that to him. I don't play perfect, you know what I'm saying? Once I feel like I rob a, a little candy out of the candy store, I'm not perfect. I curse, I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like things that we know is not supposed to happen is not is is bad. So, but it's not bad to the point like somebody's hurt or kid. It's just not good. Mm -hmm. So once that's out the window, just don't think you're perfect. So I, like I said, conversation with me with people, I read everything, literally everything. I'd be, I would probably feel when somebody's pissed off and they would be confused, like, damn, how you know? It's the eyes, it's your steps, how you talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, people be sh shivering with their mouth when they night, they, they mad, but you gotta watch it and, and, and see their body tone. Like, I seen it the other day, I'm like, yo, you, you mad? Like, how you know? But you can see it in their lip, is shaking, <laughs> their hands is shaking. You an investigator. You gotta watch your surroundings. Mm -hmm. So. When the team form how you form, so if it's like, okay, I'm Dizzy Banco, oh, my man Pete Dizzy Banco, my partner Chris Dizzy Banco, it's the energy, not them being me. It's the energy where it's like they all on deck. They all aware. 
they know who to talk to, they know who not to talk to, they read the vibes, they read the energy, and then it's like, all right, my job of being a producer dad, I, I did it because they understand it, they're in the rooms working the, the rate, you know, working with the artists, and I watched them from afar, like, yes, now I can go different cities and states and, and, and fuck it up mm -hmm. while they in New York and just bringing it right up to a whole nother level while I'm bringing the bacon right back to the table. Mm -hmm. When you get the time to learn things, that's why I said like, you gotta be ahead of the game. So mm -hmm. you have the time to fit these things. You and ahead of yourself at this point. Yeah, I, I feel like I wanna go back to school today, I'll just go back to school. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the world is grabbing onto things that you are, it planted the seeds. I planted the seeds over years and now it's like, all right, watch these motherfuckers shit grow now. Mm -hmm. And like I said, a different conversation. I wanna know, so two things, right? So with this project, because it's not like you haven't put out music, like you put out music. So I want to know what what are you learning from putting out this project and like the rollout that you have versus putting out other music? Like obviously you're saying it's gravi gravitating towards more people, um, but have you seen some random person like a Rachel Ray or like a Jerry Springer, or like a like a random person listen to to your music and did that make you feel like valid? Um. No, not even that. Because my production is still my music. Mm -hmm. So regardless if you didn't press play on the EP, but you press and play on something I already produced, you can contradict yourself if that's the case. Because mm -hmm. what you about to say? I don't like him as an artist, but I like his beats. You still like me. It's the way, what's the difference? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, not, I'm not putting myself in a, in a box where it's like, that's how you need to like me, that's how you need to love me. Like, Regardless, my work is still my work at the end of the day. So once you love my work, cool. I don't care mm -hmm. if I was saying boop blah, blah blah on the beat. They still gonna love the beat because, oh, how he do the boop blah blah on the beat? That shit hard. Right? <laughs> and that's, that's been a thing, designer. Being creative, you know what I'm saying? Like everything is, is, like I said, life is simple. People make it difficult because how they think. When you think differently, it's like you start looking like the, your path starts to like, so in terms of marketing this EP, like, what are some things that's different from, like, are you doing more interviews? We feel like interviews yeah. don't matter, um, marketing. Yeah, once, once I, you know, putting up the project, uh, we, had a, we had like a little tussle, so it's so crazy how I had a date for the project. I never, knew, I never put dates for the project. For anything I'm doing, I don't put dates for it because I, I don't know, I believe on people pray for something when you don't even see who praying, like, no, I don't even want this shit to drop on this day. Just never know. But it could be some whole tech dude, technical difficulty, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still praying for something bad to happen. So that comes, it don't drop. So I'm like, damn. But I have so much content, right, that I built up where it's like, all right, they must have thought, I was, they might think, okay, it didn't drop. So in that same week, mind you, I never had a listening party even announced. So I did it in one day. The second day, the RSVP was like over 100. So I'm like, okay. Like nobody heard like top, bottom, unreleased, anything. Okay. It's just the energy, period. Mm -hmm. Why you think everybody gravitates to Ye? Mm. You get what I'm saying? So in that sense, it's like you gotta know how to control your power. Now here am I, again, lit favorite producer, this and that. I'm supposed to be cocky, talking different. You know, uh, oh, I approached him, he's nasty, or this and that. It's like, I'ma tell you, my guard is up. I don't really like people like that. It's the truth, it's life. You know what I'm saying? Like you may say, somebody else may say like, yo, I really don't, and people look at it like, okay, since you're a celebrity and you say that, that's wrong. It's like, no. I'm protecting me at the end of the day. Even if I'm with a security guard or not, I'm protecting me. You can't just approach. Can I approach you like that? Can I approach you even if I am a fan? Can I approach you a certain way? I don't even know what you're going through. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I idolize things and everything just, I leave it simple. I, I, and I feel like with these interviews to put out there for people to understand, like you don't even gotta think, overthink. Like, Overthink for the right things. Don't overthink for the bad things. You know what I'm saying? Me, I do it completely wrong. 
I prepare myself for the wrongs before I prepare myself for the goods. You was at Madison Square Garden? For what? For, um, what was it? Future? Future brought everybody out? Ah, so see, with... <laughs> Oh, Barclays. Barclays? Yeah. So I was in there in spirit. What I was doing at the moment, it's crazy because I was telling somebody the story and they're like, yo, I... You said you was there in spirit? In spirit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Like, well, people clearly... think... No, so, so this is the thing. I seen artists get to these moments all the time. I'm more concerned the impact. I seen this before already. How many artists did you see me work with where it's like, okay, boom, this got him to this point. No, I want him to see this get to another point. But these moments didn't connect to me. I feel like with the Moose Wings record was, okay, that's my moment. Mm -hmm. But I didn't feel it was my moment because look what we're looking at. Pop is no longer living. Um, TJ could do as much as promoting the record if he want when he's going tours and shows and the song is already going all over the place so it's yeah. like it's so much it can do but that's not my moment where I you know what I'm saying where it's like we're going to call Disney for an interview for Mood Swings and say what to keep asking me the same things of how is it working with Pop how is it working with Pop and it's like yeah I'm not going to go into that <laughs> mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying because I didn't even get to meet bro like he wrote me mm. like weeks before a week or a, days before he passed. Wow. So it's like, this is definitely not my moment. But it is whack and it hurt because it's like, dang, how can I, you know, you got celebrate? Anxiety? Huh? Do you get anxiety? At times. But it's just, in, in, in all moments, even when, if the world is just like, you know, giving me my flowers, I'll have time to myself like, yo, it's happening. I'm, I'm doing it. Show sure, I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Then I just go into a whole nother mode. I don't give it a mode where I can tell you what mode it is. It's just like, catch me if you can. So are you waiting for your Barclay, Madison Square Garden Stadium moment? Would that be your moment? Or That's you don't know not, what the moment looks like? You just know, know it hasn't happened yet? I know what the real moment is. For real, for real. And it's not nothing that you're, you know, you're just saying as in like the Madison Square. Like those are milestones to me where it's like, yo, I did that. Like violation been ringing off from arenas the whole 2022. You know what I'm saying? From Barclays, um, my HD, you know what I'm saying? And Lola did it. And then it's just like, you know, future bringing some It's just, you got to understand like, yo, it's like, yo, it's building because not too long ago I was chopping up a Doughboy, but not to think about the show. You get what I'm saying? It was like, I didn't think about the show. I had a meeting that day. So people looking at me like, yo, you had a meeting, and Lola, why you didn't go? And it's her moment. Yeah, do you feel like people keep trying to take away from, not to say that they can, yeah. but is it your circle, or do you feel like just in general, people just be trying to take away from Lola's moment, kind of, and try to make it like a Dizzy did that. Dizzy, that's Dizzy's. And that's why, I, then that's why I always correct everything. And you got to be the one to announce the correction because you can't correct it to the point where only one person know. Like, like somebody wrote me, it was like, yo, you, um, the way you deal with the female artist, the, the woman empowerment, like, that's big. Like, we love you for that. And it's like, wow. So I posted it because they were talking about, like, you know, creating her sound and stuff. It's like, no, no, I didn't create her sound. I love her sound. Like, I'm doing what a label would do. You do go outside, you do your homework, you, you jack somebody, take them in, you, you don't shadow them in, you just take, you know, provide what you could provide. So me, it's like, I met her at Rolling Loud two years ago. Mm. And I'm like, yo, I wanna work with you. Ain't no, yo, I need you to send beats for Lola. I, nah, I, I believe in you. I don't know what it is, what you got going on, I just, something. Sheesh. And from 2020 flow up to now, we've been locked in. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, again, my man, shout out to Reefa, like he's the producer originally that's been around us. So it's like, I, I'm not coming in here to be her main. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when Hove had producers, he had his go-tos. She need her go-tos. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if I have step, who gonna pick up? You get what I'm saying? So it's, again, okay, Rifa, and then I got my team. It's like, she good. But then, again, there's other people that's going to want to step in. It's like, if you're going to do that, make sure you match her energy. 
Don't come in there and try to redo what I did or whatever or what Rifa did or anybody that did anything before. Enhance it. If you can't enhance it, step out the way. Mm-hmm. I know how to enhance it. I, sometimes I might just fall back. People, oh, why don't you? My name is good. No, I don't need, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, me and her relationship is where we have moments where we know we are ready. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? We had conversations, like deep conversations. So to people, it's not just clout, love. It's not, oh, she just got a beat from Dizzy and it went up and it's just, no. Most of these people that you see certified with me, we have a built relationship. So it's not about me coming in there and just they, they blow up the next day. No, we build. Yeah. So when it, it's set in stone, we out of here. It's set in stone, we out of here. Yeah. Don't play with it. It's like 11 mil right now, 32. 32 in the country. like, And that's organic, you feel me? So it's like, <laughs> what can I say? You know what I'm like, you have to authorize these things. People are not going to, it don't matter if he had somebody behind his, his, uh, his IG mm-hmm. and said, let me put a song behind it. You picked that song. Right. Something made you pick that song. So you regardless, it. we won. Yeah. We've been winning. You know what I'm saying? You sitting right here having a, like you could talk about it. You're winning. It doesn't matter now. It's just enhancing it now. And you're enhancing it for people like us that's enhancing our, our career. If we ain't going up, you're not talking to me right now. Mm. And that's respectable. You get what I'm saying? Like, people got to realize that. Now, oh, why they acting funny? Well, put in some work so they, could, so they could see what you're doing. You ain't never see me have issues with anybody about anything. No. Because it's like, I know that, I get it, cool. 